family you're welcome back to another tutorial day so we're actually going to be making this boo, boo dress as you can see in the picture okay so this is what we need for this boo, -boo dress so this boo, boo dress i'm actually going to be making it with every love that i have inside of me because i am making it for my mother-in-law so i'll be using this um sequin as the color as well as the design at the front then this is four yards of fabric i'll be using a hip 40 and a length 58 for this bubble dress so let's just get started and let's create magic okay so this fold that you are seeing right here this fabric is folded into four can you see and it is not going to have an opening at the shoulder assuming this is your fabric okay and this is by yards by the number of yards okay the four yards that you're working with and this side is by the length of the ankara no ankara comes by 45 46 inches of length okay what you do is that you fold it in like this Mm, this your yard here you fold it in like this so that we don't have an opening at the shoulder can you see and then you fold it like this into four so that you have this layer and this layer do you get so this is what I did right here because the camera cannot just, you know, cover up everything. As you can see, it is very, very long. So you may not be able to see everything. So I just needed to show you how I folded this so that you don't get it all messed up. Okay. You have your yard here. You have your length here. Fold it like so. Okay. So that you don't have an opening at this edge. And then fold it again like this this will give you this boba folding okay this is equally boba folding if you want to cut your boba so this is your boba folding can you see so let us start working on the main fabric now so at this neck area here i'll be going in by three and a half inches so i have it marked out here three and a half inches then i will go in by one and a half inch for the back so we'll start cutting with the back first, one and a half inch for the back, and then connect. So we'll take the shoulder measurements from her shoulder to her elbow, where I want the sleeve to get to is about 12 inches. So plus one inch for folding, making 13 inches. So I'll mark it here, 13 inches. So from here, I'm going to be using a round hole measurement and I'll be using 11 inches. So I'll mark it here. So for some people, you can actually go in by one or two inches and then just take it down. But I don't want it so big like <laughs> excess. I'm going to be working with her hip measurements plus five inches for ease. From her shoulder to her hip is 25 inches, so I'll mark it here. Her hip measurement is 40, divided into 4 is 10. Then I'll add 5 inches for ease. So altogether, this is 15 inches. So I'll take it straight down. So from this armhole area, I will give it a nice curve like this. We don't want it too sharp. So I'll connect it to meet this 15 inches. So this is the shape of the booboo. I hope you can see this already. So this is the neckline. This point here is to indicate where the shoulder is and then the length of the sleeve together with the folding allowance. This is the round cuff and we used 11 inches to get here. So we don't want the boo, boo to be so big. So if you really want it very big, from this round cuff here, you can actually just take it, you know what, straight down. 
or you can do what i did here by taking in the hip measurement divided into four which is the biggest circumference for the body for some people the bust is the biggest part of the body so you can actually use that bust circumference and then add five inches for ease and then just give it this curve here like so and then take it straight down to the full length of the dress and then cut out so after cutting out our booboo -boo dress so this is what we have can you see can you see so thing to do is that we are going to notch here little you to differentiate the front from the back so you just notch here a little like this and then open it up so that we can work on the front so this crease line as well as this notch that we placed here we help you differentiate the front and the back so the length of the v-neck from the shoulder here is going to be 10 inches so i'll mark it here remember that we already used three and a half here so let me just mark this out three and a half straight down so that you get to understand it properly so just square it up here i'm going to be going in by one inch from this point here i'll be going in by one inch to create the v-neck but it is not the type of v-neck where you will just go in from the shoulder and then take it slant here no so for this particular design you go in by one inch here and mark it out and then you connect it to this shoulder line so you, with your ruler you just connect it here so this part is the one that we are going to be cutting out okay so i've opened up the neck line so you can see so here is the back neck line and this is the front neck line you can see okay so what we do now is that we are going to notch this edge here and this edge here just a little just go in a little by quarter of an inch while you are doing this is so there can be space for you to measure notches do help to make ends and cycles easier to manipulate so by notching this end here it will be easy for you to manipulate while sewing with the collar so that it lays flat for you okay so we'll go in by our tape here from this notch and then you measure round so what i have here is 31 inches so when i'm cutting out the collar i'm going to be cutting out about 33 inches it's better for you to have excess and then when you get to the end of your sewing you can trim it off than for you to have shortage of material okay unfold this should give you two and a half inches and then while it is opened it is five inches so i'll just mark it straight and cut out so this will serve as my collar for the neck now you know that this sequin is stretchy okay it's stretchy so for me to be able to have this consistency that i need around with this fabric i'm going to be putting an interfacing if you are using a satin material this is very much optional just because i am using a stretchy fabric i really need to do this so that i have this firmness to work with so for the design i'm going to be working with 11 inches squared up okay so you know that a square is equal on all sides so i'm using 11 inches and it's going to be a square so i'll just mark 11 inches all around so you just so we have cut out the color and this is going to be the design that we are going to be working with now with this design you can be really really creative as much as you want so here i'm just going to give it a slant you can measure it you can just freestyle okay whatever you love to do you can really be creative with this there is no fast and hard rule about this like i said before i'm going to be putting my interfacing just because it is a stretchy fabric so let us go to the ironing table and get things moving here i have the interfacing pressed to the cut out fabric also i have the collar face to the neck now let's place the design just the way it will be appropriate is either you place it at the side you know as you're seeing right now or you can place it at the middle just like you're also seeing right now so i'm going to be going with the middle so whichever one works for you you can place it just anyhow you want it creatively okay 
so this is what we have after sewing can you see it's so beautiful all right this is what you are supposed to get when you're done next up fold the sleeves in and then you sew down your booboo by one inch put your pockets if you want to and then your booboo is ready